Hey everybody, what's up? For once, I'm not going to do a gameplay or anything with anybody. It's just going to be straight talking for a few minutes. Um, and it revolves around Skyrim. And before I start, there will be some slight spoilers about the main storyline. So if you really haven't done it yet, and you're just... Every little detail matters to you. Don't watch this. Click away. Um, <laughs> but it's just a few things that have bothered me since last night and two nights ago when I thought about them, about the main storyline. And first off is Alduin, why he saves you in the beginning. It doesn't bother me that he saves you, but it's just like, why did he save you? It doesn't add up. You eventually become enemies with him, but that's because you seek out to destroy the dragons and send them back, you know, into hell or whatever. Um, but why does he save you? Does he save you because you're the last um, dragonborn and maybe he wants to have a challenge because there's no dragons alive and all dragons will rally to his cause? Does he want like a worthy opponent? Uh, does he maybe want you on his side rather than fighting you but by saving you, but you just decide to turn against him? Um, you know, there's many more routes, but those are like the two things that I've thought of that made the most sense but at the same time, just don't. Like, because he also, the thing that folk, uh, that mainly fires the, um, saving you to have you as an ally or as a worthy opponent would be, he basically just stubbornly refuses to actually attack you specifically in the beginning. Like, he'll, he breaks down the towers, he shoots fireballs in the way you're running, but every time he does that, there's someone else that dies or gets hurt. He's not aiming for you. So why why not? <laughs> it just doesn't make sense to me. But um, that's just for Alduin. I really can't think much more on that. But if you guys can, for any of these things, let me know what you think. But that's just, it, it's weird. Um, next is the first dragon you fight. I forget his name. I think it begins with like a D. But it's on the save the Whiterun quest thing, where you become the Thane of Whiterun. And he... it's a lot of the same thing there. If you attack him with ranged, he'll rarely attack you, or at least that's my luck. He wasn't really attacking me, and if I got right up in his face, he still wouldn't really, like... If there were two guards and me attacking him face up with swords, they, he'd kill them first. Like, he wouldn't attack me until I was the only one just easily to attack. And... At the end of the fight, when he is killed, he goes, Dovahkiin, no. So the only things there that make sense to me is, for just the ending alone, is either Dovahkiin, no, I was hoping you would be my ally, why did you fight me? Or Dovahkiin, no, I can't believe I lost to you before you really realized that you were who you were. I'm, lo I'm basically losing to a mortal at this point. Um... And in, and in the whole fight, the way I was saying, how he basically refuses to attack you, kind of reinforces the ally thing, but not so much anything else. But I mean, like I said, just the whole fact that he is kind of confused that you killed him, and the fact that he doesn't attack you, it just makes it seem like, are they really trying their damnedest to get you to be on their side and help them revive the dragons? I don't know. But... It, it just, it's so confusing to think about that it kind of makes the main story seem like it's able to take multi, or multiple directions for itself. Um, something that really threw me through a loop, though, was, I forget his name, it's the one dragon you have to call to with the dragon shout, like, Advalong or something, I don't know, that's something along his name, OD something, and you trap him in Dragon's Reach, um... Why he just, like, he says, oh, you captured me, time to help you. It's like, you'd think a dragon, <laughs> especially a dragon that wants to prove his mettle against you, because that's, that's his excuse for coming to your call. You be Alduin in battle, you've killed many dragons, I'm a very strong dragon, I wanted to fight you. Oh, you trapped me, time to help. How do you go from being that, I don't want to say headstrong, but that determined to fight, to just giving in, and he actually becomes your ally. You can reuse that shout and get him to come to battle for you. Granted, it's not always the best because it kind of sucks to have a dragon in battle since they just keep flying. But that's regardless of the point. Just like I said, the fact that he's like, oh, you need access to this area and only I can help you. No one else in the world, no dragon, no human could help you. No horse, 
All right, I'll help you. Fuck it. <laughs> like, how do you go to do that after you're so determined to kill the person you're helping at first? And the last thing, which is slightly out of order, I think, because I haven't played the main story in a long time, is why can't you save Parthenax? It's not so much a confusing story element as it is just kind of a dumb one. Like, Parthenax is a great ally. He helps you hone certain shouts by meditating, meditating on him. You just kind of talk to him and it becomes a fake meditation. But he helps you with that. He helps you find the Elder Scroll. He helps you defeat his own, uh, is it, I think it's his son, Alduin is his son? I don't know, but he helps you beat the only dragon stronger than him in battle. And you have to, the blades turn around and say, oh, before you progress in the storyline, you have to kill him. Oh, well, um, I don't want to kill him. I've actually stopped a couple of my playthroughs because I could not bring myself to kill Parthenax. I hated the blades. And I only helped them the first time because I wanted to beat the story. That's how I am with games. But, like, why can't you save him? What's so wrong with killing the blades or telling them a lie? Like, you can with... That's another thing. You can tell anybody, if it's a relation to a quest, that you have to do something that's, like, a more of a moral choice whether or not you want to do it. You can flat out lie. And they'll be like, oh, okay, sure. There's no way I can prove it anyway. No, the, the blades are like, no, you, you have to kill him. I will not buy it until you've killed him. I'll just get my spidey senses tingling for the fact that he's gone. I'll never know, but I'll pretend like I do. It makes no sense. Um, but oh, there's among other things for Skyrim that make no sense to me, but they're just not as... They're not related to the main quest as much, and they're not as silly as these. Like, there's, they don't have as many routes they can take or as many meanings as they have. So, I mean, if you want, drop a comment saying, you know, what other things could be, what reasons might those have um, for happening. You know, let me know how I did with the first uh, discussion like this. You know, show it to your friends. I don't really care about the liking and subscribing right now because I'm, like, I'm only starting to take off. So, just like I said, share it to your friends. Give me some ideas what I can do to make myself good to the point that you'd want to subscribe. I don't want to say, subscribe, subscribe, when I'm not good. So, just let me know, and I'm sorry for that retarded voice, but thanks for watching. Bye.